<laughs> yeah, that was me dying. But you should probably know how I ended up in this situation. Oh. Now, you're probably super confused on what this means, but long story short, I ended up getting a role called wildcard, and to put it simple, my goal is to kill off the entire server. And out of the three random players to get this role, I was one of them. After getting some quick gear, I thought it was really important for me to find a teammate, and it just so happened that this guy named a man in a suit would walk up towards me. Yo. <clears throat> so be honest with me, are you a wildcard? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I genuinely didn't think that was gonna work and like a guy who had just won the lottery I felt like I couldn't be luckier I had found the second wild card and as a sign of friendship suit placed his enchant table on top of mine and this is what we like to call the double deckered enchant table and things were going good amazing actually everyone was vibing and nothing bad was going on until suit ended up attacking someone while i wasn't online and basically confirmed to the whole server that he was a wild guard and this started to affect my image because i was obviously teamed with him and people thought i was innocent so me and suit had to think of a solution until i managed to come up with some the plan was really simple since people think suit's a wild card i would simply kill suit now you probably don't think this is a big deal and it's not complicated at all but this could not be farther from the truth you see, unlike most servers, lives are limited, and you only start out with two lives, and you lose a life every time you're killed by a player. And the only way to gain a life is by crafting something called a plus one, and let me tell you, these are not cheap. But we decided to go through with it. I was going to kill Sue, and we were going to hope that this would trick the server. I didn't want to have any- wait, wait, wait. Quickly. Go. Go. man the server was still kind of suspicious of me so when a guy named blanky logged on who didn't know suit was a wild card suit decided to take this one step further and he was gonna quote unquote team with blanky and then when we had a small gathering suit was then gonna tell blanky to kill someone so when blanky would actually go and kill that person i was gonna be right around the corner waiting to kill blanky making me once again look innocent yeah, wait, oh, wait, wait, no, where, where, where's Big Shot? Hey, hey, hey! Whoa! <laughs> oh, he exited the casino! Oh, he exited the, the casino! That was outside, that's logical, that's legal! Nah, Super's in co with me with this. What the fuck? Nah, nah I, 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 I was legal. I stopped, I, I stopped Super from killing Percy. Oh, yeah, and Super and I were planning to kill him. Yo, Sue, keep my brother out, Sue. Hey, hey, now this proved to be extremely effective. Everyone truly believed I was innocent. Except there was a person named Licorice who just DM'd me asking me if I wanted to go to their casino. Not thinking much of it, I said yeah. I thought it was going to be a nice gambling sesh with the boys. But... There was something much, much darker going on. You know how I said everyone believed I was innocent? All except one. Somehow, in some way, this person knew. And they were just waiting for the right moment to strike. Is a holy oh, oh god I <laughs> They had killed me. But more importantly, how? How did they know? I thought I played things perfectly, and more importantly, I needed to kill them before word got out. If I don't succeed here, everyone will know that I'm a wild card and all of my efforts were for nothing. So I decided to jump them.
All right, put it simple. I want, I'm gonna kill uh, Licorice and Sab here. Yes, 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 yes. Get out of here.
Yes! GG! Oh my gosh. I had done it. I had killed them before the info got out. Well, I was so blinded by paranoia that I didn't even realize the way I died could have happened to anyone in that room. I had outed myself to the entire server. I had caused what I was trying to avoid. This was my fault. Even though I killed Licorice, I'm still down a life, and my friend Sunset was asking me to join his event, so I thought it was safe for me to make a plus one. And on some even better news, I got a DM from Suit telling me that a guy named Nick was the third and final wild card, which was a good thing, especially going into Sunset's event. The event was split up into two parts, one where we had to mine, I think, as many blocks as possible, and the other was an actual fighting aspect. Oh my gosh, there's a lot here, bro. Yeah, here, bro. Dude, dude, don't worry, dude. I promise you, the first one is always going to be I'm fucking down, bro. Don't worry, guys. Dude, the first Alex, this is like the one time Thank we you. would love to have you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But then things took a turn for the absolute worst. By the way, it's gonna. By the way, it's gonna be you guys versus the wild cards. Wait, what? Man, what the fuck? It was literally so unfair that two people from the other team actually joined us. But when it was time to fight, one of them wasn't even wearing armor. But to say the least, me, Nick, and Suit were fuming. We were pissed. But you best believe that we were not going to go down without a fight, even if it was hopeless, even if there was no chance of winning, even if we could not win, we were going to fight until we saw a win in sight, until we grasp it, until we feel it, until we win. At any means necessary, we were going to win. Us five would find a way, no matter the costs, no matter the lives lost, we would win. Me, Nick, and Suit were devastated, and Toasted and Lunari ended up getting death banned, and even worse, the server finale was next week. We had truly hit rock bottom. 
but if we were going to use this as motivation, we were going to kill everyone. We knew going into this that it was going to be a tough fight, but what we didn't expect was one of our own to betray us. Sue ended up figuring out Nick C, the third wildcard, was going to betray us in the end fight. We couldn't let this happen, so when we were all in the stronghold, we told Nick that we knew and did not even bother fighting, which, surprisingly, he complied. Now we are even more outnumbered. It was me and Suit versus the world. The two that started it all were gonna end it all together. But then the unexpected happened. Pragwa was actually betraying his team and felt really bad about what happened at Sunset's event, which honestly boosted our morale enough to the point where we thought we might actually have a chance. And with that, the end fight begins. Right. Oh, I think I'm just gonna focus on this. Oh, let's go. Avenge Oh, let's go. Avenge Wait, 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 Chasing me to the ends of the earth. By the way, I've picked shit out from the person. Dude, that one, dude, a lot of people are so unlucky, dude. Yeah, I know I'm unlucky. I had died, and to put it simple, I basically forgot my inventory existed and sold that whole fight. And with Pragwell shortly dying after, we knew soon enough that suit was gonna die. Unfortunately, this story doesn't have a happy ending. Sue had used something called an Uno card, giving him boosted effects for 10 minutes. The catch is, is after those 10 minutes, suit will die permanently. It was the last stand, and he was gonna murder everyone. Die! On it. Come it, come it, come it, come it! Dude, no, I'm just saying it. Why are you? Suit had done it. Against all odds, he had won. Just as his time was about to run out, he decided to run back to where it all started. The Double Deckered Enchant Table. This server was built on a sea of lies. And yet, will end on a throne of trust. 
Where are we looking? Three, okay. two, where, where one. Are we me in real life, I'm the shortest. We're to jump off. Jeff, you cuck. We're stepping off. <laughs>